Karen Sullivan. I'm a certified sommelier through the Court of Master Sommeliers. I'm also the general manager of Acme Fine Wines in St. Helena in the Napa Valley, and I'm a proud member of the Wine Sisterhood. I'm here today in the Napa Valley to talk to you about Italian wines. Is there any other country on earth where wine is so built into daily life? I mean, who could even look at a plate of spaghetti without craving a big glass of red wine? I recently returned from Tuscany, the famous wine growing region in Italy, and I came away with an even greater appreciation for the amazing wines that have been made there for thousands of years, among some of Italy's best. Okay, so we know no three minute video can sum up the complexities of Italian wine culture from the wine that grandfathers have made in their basements for years to the grand estates of the Bulgaris and the Antonoris. But we're here just to cover some of the basics that'll get you dinner party ready in no time. A place as varied and complex as Italy is bound to have exceptions to almost every wine rule. But we're gonna nail down a few basics that can help you be more confident when shopping at a wine store or navigating a restaurant wine list. It's important to remember that much of the time in Italy, wines are named after the region in which they come from, as opposed to the grape in the bottle, Barolo or Chianti, as opposed to Chardonnay or Merlot. Take the region of Chianti. This is from Tuscany, the region in Western Italy, home to the towns of Florence and Pisa. They've been making such fine wines there for so long that there's even a governing body that makes sure that wines bearing the name of Chianti are up to snuff. For example, Put the name Chianti on this bottle of wine, there has to be at least 75% of the grape Sangiovese in the bottle. Wines from even better plots of real estate and made with tougher quality restrictions and more care get to bear the name of Chianti Classico. At the top of the line, Chianti Classico Reserva. These wines are among some of the very finest in Italy and even the world. And that straw covered bottle from your local trattoria. This is a, may or may not be featured with a candle in it, and we call it a fiasco. It's easy to remember the name when you remember that it's frequently about the volume of two bottles worth of wine, and that drinking a whole one yourself might be a bit of a fiasco. Well, we've only scratched the surface of Italy, but be sure to visit winesisterhood.com. I'll be posting links about Italy and Italian wines. You can also email me any questions, and look for me on Twitter at Hardy Splash. Until next time, cheers!